Welcome to Lake Forest, California, in my home on the lake. I have an interesting technology I'd like to share with everybody. This is a 32 inch fiberglass monohull RC boat. It has water cooling both for the electronic speed control and the brushless motor. I'll take the top off. The motor is actually putting out three horsepower. It's using uh, four cells of lithium ion battery for a total of about uh, 14 volts supplied to the motor, the electronic speed controller. But the most interesting thing is the unit that I built on the top. You notice the antenna, microwave antenna, and inside here I have a one watt microwave transmitter plus a very, very high resolution Sony camera. The design is very simple underneath. It's, for, it's all self-contained. One wire coming out to the antenna and the second wire supplying 12 volts by an independent battery. So that top simply fits in place. The camera is a board camera. This is actually used as a Korean gun camera. In other words, it's used as uh, uh, LCD sights for uh, the weapons in, uh, in Korea. So it has a resolution approaching 600 uh, lines, extremely high quality, and of course the lenses are all interchangeable. Now this boat is controlled by remote control, but the most interesting thing is that the unit itself is transmitting now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pivot around and I'm gonna show you the inside of my house. I have a 52 inch high resolution Sony TV and you can see the incredible quality of that image that is projected. Now again, this is on a 52 inch television set. You notice that there's no break off, clean color and everything connected with it. So what I'll do is I'll go outside again. I will move the boat around to a different orientation and then you can see the picture change. So as I move it to the right and the left, I'm just jiggling a little bit. And just to show you that I'm not lying a little bit, you can see in the background the picture moving to the right and the left. So next step then is going to be to take the boat into the water and then transmit a live image from the boat while traveling at speeds up to 50 miles an hour. There's going to be one important thing to check out before the boat is actually launched with a video, and that is as I change controls, especially the speed as you see here, there is a tendency to get a lot of noise normally generated, but with the frequencies I'm using plus the noise suppression system, this will give you an idea of the quality of the image. So again, I'm outside, I'll try to zoom in on the screen. Even at 20,000 RPM, there is no noise interference or no breakup. I have 2.4 gigahertz wireless. This is not, I repeat, not operating at that frequency. We'd get data hits coming through it. So the picture is clean, both from 2.4 interference as well as from any noise generated from the vehicle itself. Well, I have just launched the boat. You can see it's moving at slow speed. Kind of hard to do because I'm the photographer keeping track of the boat and the video at one time. So what we'll do is we'll uh, move this thing down a little bit and I'll tend to give it a little bit more speed. You can see the incredible maneuverability on this. Okay, now let's uh, stop it there. Okay, I've launched the boat. It is moving along the uh, harbor area. I'll try to give it a little bit of speed right now and make a turn to the right, although it's a little bit difficult to film and make the turn at the same time. Okay, sweeping by the dock again. I'll move to the right. Our wind is picked up, so we're getting a little rocking on the boat right now. These are zero dB gain antennas on this, both transmit and receive. So by putting even a modest amount of gain on this, we'd get even a better signal than what we are right now. But again, cruising along the dock area, make a little bit of a turn to the left. Uh, I'll point the camera directly into the sun. You can see even this camera has a fairly good response. It's a CCD. There it is. And what we'll do is we'll make a turn completely around now. Okay. 
and coming back along the dock again I'll try to increase the speed slightly although it's <laughs> hard for me to control this because I'm not actually looking at the boat I don't want to smash into anything, that's for well, sure. Well, there you have it. To the end of the test, brought the boat back in safely. Uh, you can see we did get a little water spray on it, but nothing too much. Very clean fiberglass hull, very controllable, and with the waterproof camera system on, it looks like it has great potential.